with all the tools that we use in a day, how many of them actually make you look really good? Truly not many. And today's video, we're going to be talking about Gamma, um, which does only that. It makes you look really good, whether you're doing a presentation, a doc, social media, or a website. Um, this video is not sponsored, but I will link to them below if you're interested in checking it out. So feature set wise, it has things like live editing, um, where you can edit a document, present a deck, and not have to switch tools. You can do blocks and cards, which is modular sections with clean layouts. You can have AI kind of polish it for you, which is turning raw content into structured, elegant reports. Um, you can build in visuals. You can do charts, callouts, icons, all of that stuff directly in Gamma. And you have the ability to do collaboration. So if you want to add your team members in, um, I like to think of Gamma as kind of the, the baby between Notion and Canva, uh, but producing things in a lot prettier way of being able to do work. So let's actually dive into Gamma so I can give you a little rundown of what that looks like. You get to the front page, you can see that they have different options. Um, if you go to the dashboard, you'll see all your projects that are here. So as you can see, I'm on the free plan. You're able to upgrade, but for now I just have the 400 credits. Um, and you actually can do quite a lot with the free plan. So, um, it's great to test out, especially if it's something that you're thinking about getting, um, perhaps in replace of Microsoft Copilot as an example. Uh, but let's try out a project. So I'm going to try doing a presentation. Um, so you can see that they have web pages, documents, and social media. I'm also going to test social media just to kind of show you what that looks like. Um, but let's say that we want to make some sort of marketing presentation for a social media campaign. And what What's happening is they are using large language models to kind of draft the content before they actually design it. So this process is actually exactly the same as what uh, something like a Microsoft Copilot would do. So being able to get the content that you need within this, you're able to kind of make changes, make adjustments, move things up and down. Um, so as we're looking at it now, there's 10 different slides that they're gonna have here. Looks good to me. Let's change the text content to detailed because I just want it to be something um, longer. And then you have the ability here to add different themes or to pick the ones that they have here. So I'm just going to pick a very basic one. Um, looks clean, looks fine, but they have, as you can see, a lot of different options to choose from. And this does export as a PowerPoint. So if you have a company uh, template, as an example, you can copy and paste this over as well. So let's select this theme. We have different options here. So if you want to do illustrations or GIFs or whatever, I'm just going to keep the automatic, the AI images, because that's pretty easy. It makes it, I'm just going to do this as, as simple as somebody would want to do it just to get started. So art style, I'm going to do, um, let's go with photorealistic just because I like having, um, my my presentations look really crisp and really clean. We hit generate. So as you can see, I view Gamma as kind of a mix between Notion and um, Canva. So you can kind of see a, a little bit of the Canva influence. If you've ever used Canva, there's a lot of um, these individual pages like this kind of broken out into an infinity scroll kind of thing. Um, so yeah, really cool. And I think generally, there's a lot of information that is presented here. Obviously, they're filling in information that we don't have, so you will have to go back and, and update that. But for the most part, it will have everything um, pulling in information, just kind of filling in the gaps of what you would do. So yeah, you can kind of see the Canva influence a little bit. Um, and what's really cool is you can click into any of these and actually update. Now, the thing to keep in mind with these is you are able to auto adjust a lot of these in a lot of this information so it's very customizable um but unlike powerpoint there's i feel like the the thing that works well with powerpoint is everyone has it uh and it's something that you're able to adjust so canva um with the way that it is set up right now obviously it's not built in it's all browser based so it's not built into your computer so depending on the browser you're using this might show up separately or some of these nuances might show up differently than what you would prefer um, so I'm just using Safari as this example, but from what I've tested across Chrome and Firefox and Edge, it seems to work appropriately across all the different platforms, but just something to keep in mind, browser-based, especially 
Um, you know, if you have spotty Wi-Fi or whatever, updates might not work. But you're able to share, you're able to do this. So if I want to collaborate and I can send this to another coworker and just like Canva, you're able to uh, make all these adjustments on site. Um, this is this platform is beautiful. The interface is simple. There's so many options um, that you can do. You can choose different layouts. You can choose different diagrams if you want something different. Um, yeah, a lot of different options here that you can do. You can also import your own photos and your media. If you want to put a video here as an example, you can import everything. What I want to add on here too is when you do share this, um, you're able to, as you can see, here's my example here, you're able to um, add this as something so that people are directly able to collaborate as part of this or you can just present it as a shareable link only. Um, and have it be something that if you're going to be presenting to a, to a group of people, as an example, um, you can send it out ahead of time and say, this is what I'm going to be presenting. And it saves a lot of time in that respect. So we're going to export, as you can see here, there's a couple different export options, um, PDF, PowerPoint, slides, or as individual images, if you want to use them for that. You can also post directly to LinkedIn. So I'll look at this when we go to the social media section. So we're gonna export it just as a PowerPoint so I can show you what that looks like. As you can see, it keeps the general functionality. It has this little watermark in the corner, which is fine, but you are able to copy a lot of this information and move it over. So as an example of what I've been doing is once you get the content, you can move it over to um, a corporate PowerPoint slide or a corporate PowerPoint template if you need. Um, there's a little bit of formatting issues, but nothing major. Um, this is all stuff that you can adjust and make it look better, but just general content and design wise, I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Okay. So let's go back. I'm going to do generate again, but just to kind of show you what this looks like. If I want to paste in text, if I have a specific, let's say re research report that needs to be done, or if I have, let's say I'm designing a web page for a client and I have, or an event or something like that, and you have all the information already done, you can paste it all in here and it will show up no issue, or you can upload it from a file if you have specific PowerPoints that you're already working on and you just want the tool to redesign them. So the function, I'm not gonna go through these just mostly because the functionality is exactly the same. So if I was to put this in here, it would do the same process that it did before. It would just be importing it directly. It'd be importing the information from these sources rather than generating it itself. So just to kind of show you what this looks like on the social media side, I'm going to do a social media campaign for marketing do's and don'ts. So I'll just kind of show you what people have been doing um, on LinkedIn specifically and give you kind of the idea of, of what this is capable of doing on social media. This is what the social things look like. So as you can see, if you got, if you have been on LinkedIn, um, there are people that you can build these little eBooks and then you click to the right and it kind of reveals it as you go. So kind of creating a little bit of an eBook, more social content, these specifically within Gamma, um, this is more designed for LinkedIn as opposed to an Instagram or something like that. But you are able to um, export this pretty, pretty immediately. And you're able to update it with your brand information. Obviously you can do the same that we had with the presentations where you can present it, you can share, you can add different people. Um, you can change the theme. So if all of a sudden I decided actually, I don't want this one anymore, I can do this one instead. And it makes all the changes pretty immediately. So instead of, instead of, um, posting on my own LinkedIn because I don't really care about the social media do's and don'ts. That's not really what I'm posting about these days. I'm just going to show you what the example is that this looks like. So this would be our individual files. So as you can see, we have the first page here. It shows up as this thing and you're able to click through. Now, some people have, this is just an ad, but when people post it, it shows up more as a booklet. So you can click through and there would be, I think, up to 10 pages that you can do on LinkedIn. Um, but yeah, so generally what I love about Gamma is it's targeting business professionals. It's not just, you know, influencers who want to create content quickly, or it's not just, um, you know, people who love AI tools who just want to try stuff out. It's actually a genuine business tool. And I think that that's the way to go, especially a lot of the AI tools that have come out are focused on kind of the quick wins or the things that are, are a little bit more difficult to do. This to me is something that's going to be more of a long-term growth project. So how Canva made design accessible to people, I think, I think Gamma is going to be making content presentation more accessible to people who aren't designers or who are working in corporate settings, but still have a good eye um, for presentations that need to be 
uh, showcase to people in a way that is is easily to easy to digest and also tells a really nice story. So pricing wise, Gamma does have a free account. They have obviously some restrictions where you get 400 AI credits at sign up, but they also have a plus plan, which is $8 per user per month or the pro plan. Obviously there's different levels and tiers that go with that. So you get access to this, but not this or whatever. I recommend if you want to just try it out, use the free account. If it's something that if your company is going to be paying for it or if your boss says hey let's use it definitely sign up i would say maybe try the plus plan before you jump onto the pro but i think it's really good for a lot of use cases if you want to try that out if you have used gamma already let me know i'm curious to hear your experience as well and one of the things that i want to point out is this might be a competitor to copilot if you have microsoft if you have microsoft copilot um, this is tool is going to be very comparable to that copilot obviously happens in the Microsoft app. So if you're on PowerPoint, it can design and create PowerPoints for you. I think gamma's in my opinion is a little bit nicer, but if you want to check out the, what copilot can do in a PowerPoint setting, check out this video that I made that talks about copilot in PowerPoint and whether or not it is worth it. And with that, I will see you on the next one.